Waluigi, forever a meme, or is he coming as the final Smash fighter? Let's talk about it. What's happening, my blocked buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Blocked Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. We get to talk all about Waluigi. <laughs> well, I think it's safe to say that there's actually a shot at this character right now, and I wouldn't have thought that any other moment, but I'm going to discuss why I think that Waluigi actually has a chance to be the final character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's Fighter Pass number 2, and with that, in extension, the entire game. I think that is so much fun to think about because this character has been through so much, Sakurai has made fun of the character actively, and I think that the idea to have this character have a very unique and awesome moveset is just something that makes a lot of fans very happy. I think the character has a chance to really redeem itself in the eyes of the public. For a lot of people, the character is, well, just a meme, right? The idea of Waluigi just being a, you know, very sad sort of self, uh, you know, loathing character comes from Charles Martinet, he's the voice actor himself, saying, you know, Waluigi is not an evil guy. He's just a guy that, you know, is a little bit of self-pity and that's what makes the character endearing, right? He's not just a straight up villain. He just kind of is self-pity embodied as a character. I think that that is incredible. I think that there's a lot of love put into the character in some of the spin-off games. He has stuff like the Rose, and some of the weird dance moves that he does. He can swim through the air. So I think that there's a lot to Waluigi to explore in those games. I think in all of those side games, he also has specific powers that really feel like the character, you know, should have had them all along. Now, if you have any questions about Smash Bros. Ultimate, Nintendo, or any other games, please send them over to question blocks and I might answer them in the show. It's blockedcontentmail at gmail.com if you want to send an email, so I look forward to reading your messages. So also, you can head over to the link in the description and get transported to our blocked content discord. And we share videos there, sometimes earlier videos, so you can check out blocked content a lot earlier than others, and you can talk with fans that are like-minded, right? Smash fans, Nintendo fans, so click the link in the description and see you out on the Discord. So let's talk a little bit about Waluigi and why I think that this character could potentially be coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as the final newcomer. Well, why I think that this is going to happen there is a shot at this. I'm not saying that this is the most likely newcomer, because I think the most likely newcomer is something a little bit bigger, like a Sora from Kingdom Hearts, or Master Chief from Halo. There's a lot of things that would make sense here, but Waluigi, I think, now finally has a chance at that spot. And why I think that that is, well, as you guys know, with Fighters Pass number two, we actually get more characters than Fighters Pass number one, right? The original Fighters Pass had five characters, this one has six, and that's because it, you know, feels like a big ending. They want to really, you know, give you the feeling that this is the big finisher with this pass. Well, I think that it does kind of make sense to think about the fact that we have been paying the same amount of money for the characters as a whole for the second pass as we did for the first pass, which in turn essentially means there is one character free, right? In terms of monetization, it would mean there's one character free. So if you look at that in those terms and think about Min Min as a character, Min Min probably wouldn't have cost a lot to, you know, get over to Smash Brothers because that is a first party Nintendo character, right? ARMS is a Nintendo franchise. That makes complete sense to me. But a character like Waluigi is even more that, right? Because let's be honest, Waluigi already has a model in the game. Waluigi has already got a presence in the game, voice clips and all that stuff. So I think that on those terms, Waluigi would be the least cost costly character to include in the roster at all. I think Waluigi appearing as an assist trophy is something against the character. Because right now, we've had a lot of instances about characters appearing in the game that have already, you know, appeared as spirits or something like that. But with Waluigi, nothing like this has happened in the same game before. We've had, you know, a character appearing as an assist trophy and then a game later becoming a playable fighter. Think about Little Mac, for instance. But if you think about a character that is an assist trophy and then turns into a playable character, 
that has really never happened in the same game before. Because of DLC, that could be possible and they can make changes. But yeah, I think that right now, that is the biggest thing that, you know, doesn't really support all of this stuff. What I think is very fun about that is that Sakurai is all about, you know, meeting fan expectations, but also shattering fan expectations, doing stuff out of the ordinary that we never would have expected. And then we look back at it and say, how couldn't we see this before, right? A character from Tekken, of course, makes complete sense. Oh yeah, right, Sephiroth makes complete sense. Oh, Steve from Minecraft, of course that fits with Smash Brothers. So even this, even a Waluigi where it's like, oh yeah, the character's such a meme, Sakurai's talked about it before. Well, I do think that there is a possibility of the character actually making its way into the game. And if you think about the character having an original moveset, yeah, there are no specific Waluigi-centric games to get those moves from. Right with Wario, there's the WarioWare series, there's Wario as a character, but also of course the Wario Land games with the shoulder bash and everything. So there's way more than enough to actually give that character his due. For Waluigi, there isn't the, you know, Waluigi's taco stand, get like that isn't canon, that isn't real. All of those things are just fan ideas about the character. So Nintendo has to go out of their way to use Smash Brothers to kind of create a personality for Waluigi that fits with this game, with Smash Brothers, so the character can have really cool punches and kicks, you know, the character has very long limbs. So in that sense, I think Sakurai would kind of lean into that. If you have a combo that you can do, then Waluigi would have a lot, you know, further reach than any of the other characters. It also kind of feels to me like, yeah, Mario is an all-round character, Wario is, you know, a bit strange and a bit floaty, and Luigi has some really strange properties as well. I think Waluigi might be the fastest out of all of them, right? But also slightly heavy, just because of the heavy limbs, right? And I think that if you think about a moveset, then this character can be a lot more fantastical. There's two ways that you can go about it. And I think one of the ways is that you actually infuse it with a little bit of quality, right? With a little bit of that Waluigi fun. And Waluigi also has a lot of sports games that he's in. So maybe Waluigi can be the embodiment of the Mario sports games. I think that that would be a lot of fun. I think that, that would make sense. The character already has a tennis racket in the way that it appears as an assist trophy fighter. So yeah, I can totally see that happening. Today's comment question is, do you think Waluigi still has a chance to become a playable character? And could it actually be the final character in the game? Well, I'm really curious to find out what you guys think. So let me know in the comments down below and I might feature your comment. And as for previous comment question winner, our answer comes to us from Shadow Claw XX. Rayman trailer idea. It shows the fighters fighting off Darkon and they end up failing. The DLC characters are there and everyone is there in a rocky area. Darkon sends master and crazy hands to them and one of them was about to hit Mario, but a glove comes out of nowhere and hits master hand. The hand pauses for a minute wondering what happened, same as the characters. Then the glove comes back to where it came from. Mario and Darkon look at a rocky mountain range and they can see a silhouette on top. And it's Rayman and he says, Yahoo! Well, splash screen, whoosh, Rayman joins the legends. I think that that's great, actually. Shows gameplay of him, and then after the trailer, Rayman jumps up to Darkon and shows him a slow motion of Rayman charging his fist and taking a punch. This is a reference from Rayman Legends trailer, and I think that this is a good trailer for him and I would love to see this happen as a trailer. Please like this block content. Well, Shadow Claw, thank you so much for sending in your comment. I do like this comment. I think that it's so fun to think about the fact that Rayman has a floating white gloved hand and that of course the bad guys in Smash Brothers are floating white gloves, right? So you can have a lot of fun with that and audience expectations and stuff like that. Maybe the, the hand just appears and eclipses the sun and you're like, oh my god, there's this huge, like, big master hand and then as it comes closer, it's just very tiny and it just boops your nose or something like that. I could really see Sakurai going for something fun like that. So there are a lot of ways to introduce Rayman as a character. I think that more than anything, that is clear. So. If you want to support blocked content, you can do so through Patreon. There's a lot of incredible patrons already that I'm super thankful for, so thank you guys so much. If you want to support this channel too, go to patreon.com slash blocked content, and maybe you are the deciding factor for the next Snake Codec or a leak speak here on blocked content. So please hit subscribe, hit that like button, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys around the corner where there will always be more blocked content. See ya.